I think I told y'all the story before, but it's such a powerful story. A friend of mine was in a uh, prison ministry, and the first time he went, they went to the cells, and he sat down in front of a hardened criminal that was going to be in there for life, and, and he shared the gospel, and the man spit in his face. And he left, and, and they came back a few weeks later, and, and he said, I want that guy. I want to go back to that same guy. So he went there. And this went on for like a couple of years. He would go in there. He'd sit down. He'd, he'd be kind to the guy. He'd be loving to him. He'd try to share the gospel with him. And, and you got to realize, this is a guy who's been through hell. No tell him what he did to make him do what he had to do to get put in prison for the rest of his life. But nobody just wakes up one day and says, I'm going to do something to get put in prison. They, they get formed. They get molded. There's something that goes on in their head, whether something breaks or whatever. And then, and then one day, after a long time of coming in and getting spit in his face and sharing the gospel and not getting mad and yelling at the guy and cussing him out or hating on him at all, he sat down one day, and as he started talking and reading his Bible, he hears Here's the guy weeping. And the guy said, you've come here for years and I keep spitting in your face and you just keep coming back. He said, because I love you. Because Jesus loves you. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Look, if a guy can do that, we can surely do that with the Democrats or the Republicans or the Libertarians or the Hajitarians or the whatever-tarians, you know? You know? 